So good day again, everyone. Good day. And here I am again. I am Jake Manzanade. Currently studying computer engineer at Bulacan State University, main campus, and a former intern of Institute of Computer Engineers of the Philippines, Singapore chapter. For today's video, I will make a video a reflect reflection video about the topic of devolution of cybersecurity at training.fortinet.com. At in this topic. In this topic, uh, we will learn. I learned about the uh, security, cloud, uh, Wi-Fi, endpoint security, um, SD wide area network, firewall, uh, threat intelligence services. Network access control, sandbox, security information and event management, web application firewall, and then web filter, and uh, security email gateway. So first things first, let's go on the first topic that I've uh, I've take is the SASE. What SASE means? SASE is the security access services edge. In the first topic, uh, it's talking about the how it's evolved and how does the network security challenge challenges it solves. So that's in the inter that was the introduction of this topic. And then the next topic is the cloud security. So in that lesson, uh, I explore the cloud, what is what it really is, and how it became to be as a cloud what how it became to call as a cloud and some of the security issues that we encountered in the internet so the the third topic is the uh, SD wide area network uh, in this lesson uh, tackled about the how organizations with multiple location have traditionally connected their networks together and how the internet and the other advances allowed them to save money and be much more flexible and the next one is the endpoint security uh, which is you I learned that how the rise of personal computer led to an explosion in the quantity of malware attacks and how endpoint software solutions were created to protect us from those attackers over time and the scope of endpoint solution has expanded to include more and more just an antivirus the next one is the firewall firewall is created to solve early network security problems and how those problems change firewall technology has adapted to keep network protected next one is the next one that i've learned is the wi-fi Wi-Fi is uh, about technology that connects device wirelessly like in our house we commonly know this uh, the security of the Wi-Fi then the threat intelligence services I learn how security vendors collect the threat intelligence for various source and provide access to that collected knowledge to detect not only a malware but all sorts of bad behaviors this mean the next one is the network access control network access control is the technologies that identifies uh, what on your network in order to control which device can connect and which device are blocked uh, in this topic also it introduced the sandbox first I didn't know what a sandbox is but in this topic I learned that sandbox is the about the security technology that can detect threats that have never been detected before so like this is like an um, uh, hidden or uh, small uh, malware that detected now so next one is the security information and event management uh, in this lesson I learned that about how knowledge gained from network devices and services can be used to both detect 
bad behaviors as they happen and also provide rich historical data to show what happened to the past. So this, this topic uh, focuses on the historical data that, to show what happened on the previous or in the past. So the next one is the web application firewall. I learned that the security technology is specifically designed to protect web services. And then the security email gateway. I learned also that the email, how email can be used for malicious purposes and the security technologies that can be detected from the phone. So here, there is a malware that hackers use to get your information and then use your information to other bad things. And then we also have web filter. Uh, in this topic, I learned about the security technologies that can be based on policies, recognize the type of content served up by a website, and then determine whenever or not it can be accessed by network clients. So that's all for the, to this topic. And thank you for watching. I am Jake Manzanada again. Thank you for watching and God bless. Oh wait, the question I forgot. The question is how do I think the importance of this topic as a future computer engineer? Uh, this is important to us as a future computer engineer because uh, we all know that a lot of people or all of the people right now or nowadays is using the web, right? So um, there is always a bad actor everywhere like if you like especially if you were uh, famous uh, there's a lot of hacker that uh, wants you to hack to get your information and use it to the bad uh, actions so here I learned to how to how you can prevent how can I prevent being hacked by the other people and how can I protect my information and data that I that I need to protect it and yeah, that's all for today. Thank you for watching.